Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and this is going to be a love message reading for you guys. These are the readings that are due that are not sign specific. So you may resonate with the reading or you may not, even though you will know. Because if you, you know, listen to the reading from the start and you feel like there are some things that resonate with you, then you can keep watching. Otherwise, you can watch your sign. Um, for your sun, moon, rising, all of those signs are up on my channel. Okay, so we will see what is up with the person on your mind. How are they thinking, feeling about you? What is up with them? Um, so let's just see. Okay, we already, oh my God, we already have a couple of cards here and we also have something at the bottom of the deck. So this person, this is, yes, it is too late. This person feels like it is too late or a lot of time has passed. So this person could be somebody who you have not communicated with in a while. And I'm getting that, okay, intuitively what I'm picking up here is that this person was your friend before you dated them. And some of you did not even date them, you know, for that long. Maybe it was a friends with benefit or just like a friend type of a situation. Um, I'm also getting that there is something that is about to change for you, especially in regards to communication. So there could be uh, some sort of an apology or some sort of a revealing conversation that's going to happen in the near future for you. So at the bottom of the deck, this one says, I'm worried about you moving on. I think about you every night. I have been struggling lately and I hope you're happy for me. So this person like sees you as somebody who does not hold grudges, okay? They they see you as somebody who has a very beautiful heart. And I'm getting that this person's reminiscing about you. And the more they think about you, the more they're worried that you're going to move on from them. I feel like all the good things that you did for this person, now they think about those, okay? And they're sorry for what they did. I don't know what exactly they did, but... You could be getting an apology from them, okay? So let's see what messages from Tarot want to show up for you. Let's see. Show me more, please. Oh my god. Bottom of the deck for you is the two of swords with the two of pentacles and the eight of cups. Okay, so I can clearly see that you decided to walk away from this individual because you felt like um, there was something missing in the relationship emotionally. I feel like this person maybe was there, but they they were unable to understand you emotionally. And I'm also getting that you feel like, in, you know, instead of getting confused all the time, it is best to maybe walk away. But I feel like sometimes you also contemplate about whether to move on from this person completely or to still give them another, another chance because there is an energy here of... Um, there's an energy here of closure issues, you guys, okay? Um, where do I even begin with this person? I feel like you're holding back from communicating with this person, even though there's something that you want to say to them, even though sometimes you feel like sending that text message, you're not sending it. Um, and you're keeping it to yourself. You, a lot of you are trying to give yourself the closure that you were seeking from them, perhaps. Okay. Um, 
Another thing I'm getting here is that you are kind of like taking a step back from the situation because something seems messy here. I don't know if there was a third party situation here and you feel like it is best to keep yourself away from this person for now. It's like you have distanced yourself and even distancing yourself from the situation has made you, you know, very clear about your priorities and where this is maybe going, okay? With the moon card, card, the tower, moon in the reverse and the tower, eight of pentacles, seven of wands. One thing I'm getting here with the ace of swords as well is that this person may be wanting to clarify something with you, but I feel like their ego gets in the way. Okay, with the moon reverse, they're wanting to reveal something with the tower. It's like this person has gone through a realization, which is something we talked about here as well, that this is somebody who re who is realizing things. And I feel like this person also does not really like how things ended between you two. Okay, yes, with the empress here and the nine of cups. This person is kind of like in this energy where they see you as somebody, like first of all, this person finds you very attractive. And secondly, I feel like this is somebody who feels like you're moving on from them or you're good on your own. They, they feel like you don't really need them, to be honest. There is a fear here that you're going to move on from them. Knight of Cups, King of Swords, this person... Page of Wands. Okay, I'm, I'm really getting that this is somebody who wants to communicate and say something because with the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups, this kind of talks about wanting to clarify things, okay? Um, wanting to make amends kind of an energy. And I feel like they're going to they're gonna try to communicate at least. You know, they're, another thing I'm getting here is that this person's not sure about how you're going to respond because it does look like the situation... Like you haven't communicated with them in a while. So they feel kind of confused about reaching out to you. But I feel like they will. Hmm. One thing I'm really seeing here is that there's a lot of masculine energy in this reading. So there's a lot of that pursuing kind of an energy I'm getting here. Okay. I feel like you really, really loved this person, but I don't know if they treated you like an option or now you have somebody else in your life. So even if this person shows up, you're going to be contemplating a lot before going into this. I don't know. Some of you may have options. Some of you may not. But there is definitely an energy here of confusion um, that I see is coming from your side, okay? So maybe you're trying to take some time off in order to clear your mind about the situation because I feel like you're still still passionate about them, but you just feel like it is not the right time or it is not the right way to deal with the situation right now, just, you know, in, uh, keeping in mind what happened between you two in the past because there was some sort of confusion and conflict that happened in the past here between you two, okay? It's not like you don't have love for them, but I feel like you are trying to distance yourself because you feel like this is the right thing to do, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Listen up. Somebody is about to show up for you. They're wanting to reconcile with you with the Lovers and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to get on the same page with you, okay? And another thing I'm getting here for you guys is that some of you have options in love. There could also be a person from work who may who may be hitting on you. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but there is like, there is an energy here of somebody showing up and maybe even wanting to take you out on a date or wanting to be with you, okay? With the lovers and the three of pentacles, especially, okay? This is something that has to do with uh, somebody trying to um, get on the same page with you, okay? With the ten of pentacles, I also see your money looking good, okay? Show me more. The judgment. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, you guys. We have the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, and the Justice at the bottom of the deck. So for a lot of you, first of all, I'm also getting that you've been watching Tarot or maybe you're into astrology. I'm really getting with the judgment and the Ace of Pentacles. There's something new that's showing up for you. And you are going to decide 
the dynamic of the situation, especially because you're getting the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles together. So I, I really feel like there is kind of like a reset and a restart kind of an energy for you, especially about your money, okay? <laughs> like, I, I know this was supposed to be a love message, but I see that your money is about to improve as well. So if there's a project, if there's a venture that has been on your mind, then this is a time to pursue it because I feel like you will find the like-minded people to help you with it. Or if you're doing it alone, you'll still find a lot of assistance because I feel like you're guided and protected by spirit, okay? So that is great. And other than that, your past person is also showing up. I wasn't really expecting for this to turn out like this, okay? I miss you a lot. There, this person misses you a lot, okay? Show me more. They want you back. Okay, so there is somebody who's wanting you back. And then, oh my God, okay, the last card is talking. Interested, conversing more, text message or call. There's somebody who's about to text you or call you. And they're going to be confessing something to you. Okay, um... Let's see. Show me what is the guided message for them. Show me what is the guided message for them. Blossoming abundance. Oh my God. I told you that before as well, that I see you like, you know, manifesting new things. That is number three. That is also the number of manifestation. So I'm really getting that new things are going to be coming your way and you're manifesting things, okay? You're in a very abundant energy. So uh, this card, beware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity. Much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold, this card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the new growth and be grateful. This card is also signaling new increase in wealth and possibly in a most dramatic and unexpected way. So listen up, you guys. I feel like you're about to make a lot of money, okay? I know that this was supposed to be about love, but money is looking really good for you. And especially if you were guided to watch this reading and you, you've watched it all the way up until now, I feel like your money is really about to improve, okay? And I want you to like... Uh, put an affirmation in the comment section that I am abundant, okay? And confirm the energy, okay? So I, I'm really getting that this is this is like a new chapter in your life, okay? So that's about it, you guys. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Um, now, in the extended of this reading, I'm going to be seeing what changes are coming in your life in general, especially in regards to the money that I talked about and also in regards to love. So if you're interested, you can have a look at it. It will be linked in the description box. Take care and bye-bye.